Hey guys, thank you for joining us again in this episode of YouTube. So, I get a lot of my ideas from all the stuff that people bring to us and have ask us, hey, I need help this, I need help that. And one of the biggest thing, one of the biggest, biggest thing, and I think I mentioned it uh, in multiple different ways in the past YouTube, is about gearing size. So, of course right now, the, the big thing in BMX is the big bikes, the 29 inch, the, uh, the bike life style. So a lot of people come in and go, hey, you know what, Foo? Uh, I wanna make my bike ride better. Now guys, when I say I wanna make my bike ride better, some of you guys are already going, well, what, what's better? You know, so I don't know what better means. Hey, I wanna make my bike ride easier. What's easier? So a lot of time when you come in, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask those kind of question, and a lot of you guys, y'all, I forgot. Wait, we're not saying guys no more. Yeah, y'all. Uh, you know, I used to have a 20 inch fruit, and I remember the gear on it was 25.9. You know, all these new bikes. You know, I'm gonna use a, the the SE Big Ripper as a reference. They all come with a a 16.36 recently, and dude, that gearing is just so off. You know, could I make it into a 25.9 like my 20 inch? Now, it, I'm not gonna say no, you can't, it's wrong, but the idea that you guys think that is, if I do a 25.9, it's going to work, this is what the whole purpose of this video is gonna be for, is to explain that, in essence, it is not the same. You cannot go compare a your old 20 inch or your 20 inch to your 29 because you got two different things, apple and oranges, okay? So, just for start, I'm gonna show you. This is a typical 20 inch BMX bike. Alf, how long have you said, you say like 25.9 has been the standard? I, I still remember the bike, I still remember like the bike. 05. 05? So 05, roughly around there, give or take some of you guys, comment it in. When do you guys remember the 25.9 became a norm? I remember it was the, um, the, the, it was felt. Fly Panther? No, oh, felt. Oh, you're right, you're right. Felt came out with a bike that was 25.9, and after that, Verde came out one, and then everything became the standard. So, shout out to those companies for being ahead. But that became the standard. Now, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are, uh, grew up seeing this 1644. I'm 47, guys. Yep. Pretty good looking for that, right guys? Come on, any any ladies out there, give me a holler. So this is this is the, the standard back in the days. But now they start doing this, and you guys are like, wait, that's all off. Guys, it's not all off because if we're gonna go with the standard size, like the standard ratio, follow me along, okay? This is a nine, this is a 25. If I was to step this up from a 25 to a 28, this is gonna go from nine to 10. If I'm gonna go from 28 to a 30, this is gonna go from 10 to 11. 30, 12, 33, 13, right? And then 36? No, 36, 13. 36, 13. So you guys can see, 36, not 13, it's 16. Oh, that's what you guys mean. It's, throw, it's throwing the gear ratio all off. Pump the brakes, guys. Th this, is, this is where I'm gonna explain why it's not the same. Look at the two bikes. One bike has a 20 inch wheel. One bike has a 30, uh, 29 inch, I was gonna say 30. 29 inch wheel. The size of the wheel, guys, could you imagine standing on it and pedaling to propel a bike that has a 20 inch wheel? It's gonna be a lot easier than getting on and cranking and moving a 29 inch wheel. If you have the same 25.9 gear or the 36.13, if we were going with a normal ratio, it would be heavy. You guys follow me? So you, you, you almost can't do that, okay? The math has to change because the wheel size is different. Okay, hey Max, what was that measurement that we measured? The difference in wheel, the 20 inch versus the 29. 21 inches and 88 inches. No, it wasn't 21. We, we measure in, uh, like I think. 60 and 90. What, it was 60 inch, 60 inch diameter of a 20 inch wheel. Diameter, the full rotation. And the 29 is 90. 
okay? So to get the whole wheel rolling, you gotta roll more. So with this, we're gonna take a field trip outside, okay? Let's go outside, we're gonna show this, okay? Scientist back, who's gonna show us? We're gonna, we're gonna show the length. Did you, did you do it? Okay, so each dot it's a circumference of the 29. Of course, the longer one, the shorter one's a 20 inch. Basically. So, so, so the dots, the dots is this. Is this we were to roll this? Yep. So, like we could show Al, for example, let's put the shadow one right. Okay. Uh, so dots. you gotta look. The stickers right there on the uh, on the on the paint, and we're gonna roll this, and look at look at the sticker. It's gonna go all the way around. And it'll end right there. That's a full rotation. So look at the length of that. Okay. So now we'll do that. Where the valve stem is. Twenty nine. Okay. Where the valve stem would be the marker. Roughly. A little off, a little off but okay. I did it by myself. Um, basically, what we're just trying to show is the differences in length and the reason why the gear issue has to be a little different. So since it's a lot longer travel, you have a lot more wheel to move. We're making the gear ratio a tad bit lighter, so that way it kind of evens out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test ride both bikes and kind of feel the different pressure to take off and just kind of compare. So, so basically, basically what Max is trying to say is that because of the shorter distance and the rotation of the wheel, if we were to take this gearing, which some of you guys are used to, and we were to put it on that bigger bike, it's actually not gonna ride the same. It's actually gonna ride heavier because you gotta move those big wheel at a longer distance. So one rotation of the wheel, it will equal more to one, the crank length of this. Okay? So let's pedal. All right, so now we have the uh, finish line right here. We're gonna do one full crank revolution and see how much farther this goes than that, vice versa. All right, ready? I think it's probably better if I just pedal it. Okay. Right here. Ready? Right there. Okay guys, as you guys can see, one full rotation of the crank, actually the wheel stopped pretty, pretty much dead, dead on. on. So can you guys see, even though the wheel size, the markings over here shows the full rotation of the wheel, what would you say? This is about a foot and a half, about a foot and a half difference. But when you actually crank it, starting from this ghetto ass marker all the way to that, the, the bike in one crank rotation, that wheel meets the same. But that's because the engineer that went and designed it, they designed the gearing to make this bike feels like that bike. Max, hop on it and ride it. I know you guys can't feel it, but we're just gonna do this. Okay, guys, it's just pure. the video's not long enough. We're just trying to feel in some space. Pretty casual. Feels pretty much exactly the same. You see the, the amount of effort he puts out? It, it looks like the same. I know you guys are in the video. You guys go, wow, you don't know. No, actually, the way he looked at it, his pedal, it's the same amount of effort, but that's the gearing size. So, what I'm trying to get out with all this blabbing going on, all this jibber jabber, is that guys, you guys are gonna go, well, that, that gearing's all off. Because if you went and you went with the normal equation, you know, that right there, since that is what, 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 what rear gearing is that? It was, uh, well, the, well, remember, even though there's not a Colt, we're basing it on a more, a more popular bike, which is the, the SE Big Ripper, it's a 16 then the front should be a 44. Guys, if we did the 44, the crank would be so hard, even though you're gonna travel further, but the crank's gonna be harder. Now, if you guys want it to feel the same, that is the same. That is the same right there. So when you guys come in, you guys go, dude, I want the bike to ride like my 20. They have it all figured out, guys. Now, for, if you guys wanna change it for any other agenda, where you guys wanna make it a little bit lighter so you can wheelie, you guys can go and check out the other video we did. We did explain the lighter gear will help you pop up, the taller gear will help you go faster. I did talk about that. This segment is to talk about why the gearing is so off and you guys go, hey, I wanna make it feel the same. It is gonna make it feel the same. You guys are thinking too much of the number. 
I hope that explains it all to you guys. I hope the diagram and all that, the distance, you know. You know Sandals. Me and, the sandal, me and the sandal gang right here, explain it to you guys. If you guys need any more, comment it in. And you know what, me and Alf, we do read it and we do talk about it. And when we put together videos together, we'll explain it. So guys, if you're still confused and you still don't, want, you still don't understand it, comment it in. Okay guys? Thank you for, for watching. Oh, oh, what's hey. that? Is that <laughs> Tell you, Todd Lyons, I'm out, man. I'm out to get you. I found the new trend. I'm gonna shave my head. He's struggling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh he's about to go into the van. Oh, destroy oh. the BJ mobile. Oh. It it. It. <laughs> now, the manual is the funniest one. Look how far back he is. <laughs> 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 <laughs>